I mean, I think that the hard thing about like being on TV or being somebody with a big social media following as a designer is that you find a lot of clients, but then the, the act of what you're doing that is getting their attention is actually something, something that takes a lot of time. So like yeah. content for Instagram takes time. Producing a TV sh show takes time. Like all of these things kind of in a weird way negate the thing that you're marketing because you don't have time to do the thing because you're doing the marketing for the thing. Right. Um, so bringing on people to help you sort of carry out your design is really crucial. And for me, I've seen multiple friends of mine bring on huge teams and then they go through these cycles of, oh my God, my overhead is so high. I have to get rid of people. And then three months later, they're like, oh my God, I have so many projects. I need to hire more people. And so I've been trying to find partners instead of employees, meaning like I have I'm collaborating with people, but I'm not like, you're on my payroll. So it's like, right. instead of just, you know, practically speaking, instead of me being like, here's your salary, I'm like, well, you're making this percentage and I'm making this percentage and the percentage is, is fair enough that they're going to be motivated to want to work, you know? Mm -hmm. so and actually, they still have other things to work on when it's, when it's slower. So for my design clients, the people who work for me, quote unquote, make more of the design fee than I do because they're doing more of the logistical work. And the reason that that can work for me is that I'm doing multiple things at the same time. I want somebody who's established enough to not be my employee and they deserve more of the money because they're doing more of the work. Yeah. So that's kind of been my strategy this year of like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And these things are going to be self-sustaining because I'm paying people a living wage to do them. And I still get to have the creative freedom of being involved, but I'm not sort of tasked with the day-to-day -day minutia, which is what sort of always ends up making my brain feel torn in a million directions. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.